Uh, fucking who cares? Hey, uh, and then, hell, welcome back to Spyro. Uh, last episode, we beat the fuck out of Toasty, and uh, Bones had a brain fart. It was a, it was a rather funny brain fart. Maybe Batman um, and Spider Man are gay lovers, and they like to switch costumes. Maybe like Batman that. and Spider Man maybe are the it's same part person. Of their maybe Batman, maybe Bruce Wayne is actually Peter Parker, or maybe Peter Pocket is actually Bruce the Cage Wayne. Bone saw is ready. Have you ever you've seen the first Spider-Man, right? Did you, you saw the original Spider-Man movie, right? No. 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 Well then. Okay. Well, um. Like the one with Toby. Yes. Toby. Toby no. Dickhead. But um, th those were actually pretty good. Uh, other than three. Uh, three. Oh man. Three was all over the fucking place. But. Didn't he turn like? No, see, here's... And there was the infamous hair flip and the dancing. No, he, here's the thing. There was a dance sequence. Here's the thing. Spider-Man Spider 3. Thanks, Spyro. He's going out with Mary Jane. Oh, they're in love. Oh, he's thinking of marrying her. Oh, here comes Harry Osborn as the new goblin. He's gonna kill Peter Pocket. Oh, he beats new goblin. Yes. Oh, he beats new goblin. Oh, he's going to fucking... He's going on a date with Mary Jane. Oh, Comet falls from the sky, brings the Venom symbiote. Oh, it attaches to Peter Pocket. Oh, he gets the black suit. Oh, he's way more powerful now, and he's a fucking asshole because it makes him angry. Oh, Sandman escapes from jail, but he's not Sandman yet, but then he gets into a nuclear reactor with Sand, turns him into Sandman, and now he's on the run. And then Sp and Peter Pocket as Spider-Man stops uh, Sandman, and then he disappears, and then he's having relationship issues with Mary Jane, and he makes out with Gwen Stacy a bit in front of Mary Jane, and then Mary Jane's like, you know what, fuck you, and then he, she abandons him, and then Harry Osborn, Harry gets amnesia from their fight, and he's like, man, I can't remember anything before the first movie, and... And then he doesn't know who killed his father, or that his father was a goblin or whatever. But then he gets his memory back, and then he goes and fights Peter Pocket again. And he's like, yo, Mary Jane is mine, bitch. But then he's like, no, Black Suit, and he beats the fuck out of Harry. And then Mary Jane's like, you're a monster. And then he's like, man. And then he goes to fucking... He goes to fucking Kirk Connors. Dr. Kirk Connors, and he's like, yo, this symbiote, it attaches to people to survive, and it increases the aggression levels in the host, and he's like, yeah, whatever the fuck, I don't care, because he already has the black suit on, and he's angry as fuck, so he goes, he goes to a fucking sing bar with Gwen Stacy, because him and Mary Jane broke up. Okay, wasn't, though, like... I'm not finished! Wasn't chronologically, though, Gwen Stacy Gwen before? came first in the comics, but not in those movies. Gwen was like a pushover character. But anyway, Spider-Man 3. Gwen's Spider-Man 3. Yo, I'm Peter Pocket. I'm the Black Spidey. I don't give a shit, and I'm angry as fuck. Is that like and, Polly Pocket? Yeah, a little bit. And, and then, so then Polly Pocket goes on a date <laughs> with Gwen Stacy because he's like, eh, hey, fuck Mary Jane, right? And then Mary Jane's working at the bar they go to, and then he has a fucking salsa number with uh, Gwen Stacy right in front of with Mary Jane. With the hair flip. With the hair flip. And then she's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? And he's like, I don't know, man. And then also he's having a feud with Eddie Brock for who can get better pictures of Spidey for the Daily Bugle. And then basically Black... Isn't he Spidey? Shouldn't he be able to take the better pictures? And then basically Peter... He is Spidey And then basically Peter Pocket, now that he's fucking angry as fuck, he goes to Eddie Brock and he's like, yo, cool picture of the Black Spidey. It'd be a shame if someone, oh, I don't know, accused you of fraud. And basically, Eddie took one of Peter's pictures that he already published, and he just photoshopped it to make Spidey look like he's in black suit. And he gives it to J. Jonah, and then Eddie gets fired. And then, and then Pete, Peter realizes that, whoa, I gotta get rid of this black suit because it's ruining my life and I'm angry as fuck! And then so he got, he realizes that the symbiote's weakness is sound, so he goes to a bell tower, and he's like, BONG! BONG! And then the Venom suit's like, <laughs> And and then it breaks I off of him. Thor. Thank you for Whoa! And then and then the venom suit breaks off of him. And then Eddie just so happens because it's in the bell tower of a church. Eddie's at the church and he's like, "Lord, forgive me for I have sinned." And then he hears "Ding dong," and then he goes and he sees that Peter Pocket's at the top. 
And and then the Venom, the symbiote starts falling down, and it basically engulfs Eddie, and that's how he turns into Venom. And then uh, Spidey, when he's the Black Spidey, he fights Sandman in the sewer because he found because this fucking is a fucking complicated movie. There's so much plot, and the, there are so many things going on in this movie. It makes it so inconsistent and incohesive. But yeah, he also finds out that the Sandman was actually the one who killed Uncle Ben. But then. But then he fights the Sandman, and he's like, Yo, you killed Uncle Ben, and he's like, What does it matter to you? And he's like, EVERYTHING! And then he kills him, and then he throws him in the water, and then he turns in the mud, and he drowns. But then he comes back, and then he runs into Venom, and he's like, Yo, you wanna kill the spider? And he's like, Yeah, I wanna kill the spider. You wanna kill the spider? And he's like, Yo, I wanna kill the spider. And he's like, Let's kill the spider. So then they go downtown to a construction site, and they start fucking shit up, and Sandman, he's like the giant Sandman, and then Venom... He, like, kidnaps Mary Jane and puts her in a taxi in a web at the top of the tower. And then Spider-Man's like, Yo, I gotta stop being an asshole and get rid of this black suit, which he already did. But, I gotta, I gotta be the real Spidey again. And then he goes, and then he, he goes to Harry, because he's like, Yo, Harry, I can't do this alone. And Harry's like, Go fuck yourself, you killed my father. But then he, so then he leaves, but then Harry gets a vision of his father, and he's like, Harry, stop being a f fucking asshole. Like, Spider-Man did not kill me. I was the goblin. Or I'm trying to remember. No, no, no. He got he gets a vision from his father, and his father's like, Be the goblin! Kill the spider! And that's how actually how he talks, because he's the goblin. But um But then his butler, but then the fucking Osborne butler is like Your father loved you! He was also the goblin! And apparently the stab wounds, because in the first uh, movie, somewhat spoilers, um, Harry Osborn, aka the, I mean, Norman Osborn, aka the Green Goblin, gets killed by his own glider. So then the uh, the Osborn butler is like, Harry, your father loved you. He was the Goblin. He was killed by his own glider because the stab wounds were the exact same that came from the glider. So Spider-Man didn't kill your father. Stop being a fucking pussy bitch. And go help your best friend. And then he's like, Yo, Spidey! Check it. Room for one more. And then him and Harry, they fight the Sandman and the Venom. And Venom's just a fucking pushover. He didn't even have to be in the movie. But Sandman actually had a... Sandman actually had some purpose. And then... And so they beat Venom. So him and Harry beat Venom, but Harry ends up dying. And, uh... Did I mention spoilers? Um... <laughs> Yeah, so Harry ends up dying, but they beat Venom, and then Sandman goes to Peter, and he's like, You know, I didn't actually want to kill your uncle. My partner was being a bastard, because, like, in the first movie, there's this guy who Welcome steals some money from a guy that Peter just completely ignores, and then he runs out, and then, like, ten minutes later, he goes out, and Uncle Ben's dead on the ground. And he's like, man, that's the guy who killed my... Uh, uncle. But no, not actually. What really happened was Sandman was his partner and he didn't want to do that. He didn't want to be evil and go rob stuff, but he had to do it to pay his daughter's hospital bills for her operation because she was dying. So he didn't want to do it, but he had to to save his daughter. And then the other guy fucking runs out and he's like, yo, did you get a car? And it's like he's talking to Uncle Ben and he's like, please give me this car. I need to help my daughter. He's like, you put the gun down. Go live the rest of your life. And then the asshole runs out and he's like, We gotta go! And he starts shaking the Sandman. And then Sandman, he pulls... And then the guy, by shaking the Sandman, accidentally pulls the trigger and shoots Uncle Ben. He didn't want to shoot Uncle Ben. It was an accident and he felt really guilty for it and he turned himself in. And then he's like, I don't expect you to forgive me, but I just wanted you to know that I didn't want to kill Uncle Ben. And then Peter, Peter Pocket's like, I forgive you, Sandman. I forgive you. And then he blows away in the wind. And then he blows away in the wind, and Harry's dead, and him and MJ get back together, and Venom's gone, Black Suit's gone. That's Spider-Man 3 in a nutshell. That is really fucking complicated. Mm -hmm. Fucking stupid Spider-Man. And then you look at the first two, and they're really straightforward. And they're much more developed plots without being complicated. Spider-Man 3, on the other hand, it's all over the fucking place, and it seemed like they wanted to do way more than they had to, which made it crowded, and they're like, we don't want to get rid of any of these plot, like, subplots, so we're just going to put them all together into a two-and-a-half-hour movie. And it makes it so complicated and so cluttered that it's just bad narrative.
So yeah, that's Spider-Man 3. Did you, did you like my description? Like, comment, and subscribe if you did. So what's been going on in Spyro while I've been ranting about Spider-Man? I have been doing some things. Okay. Because, man. Did you like my description, though? I mean, I think I fucking nailed it. Man. Whew! That take a lot out of me. Yeah, a little bit. It's funny that we mentioned Spider-Man 3, too, because they just put Spider-Man 3 on Netflix. Don't make this I'm, I'm not going to. Because I honestly wouldn't want to watch it again. I'd watch Spider-Man 1 and 2 again, because they were really well done. Spider-Man 3? Not so much. But yeah, they just put Spider-Man 3 on Netflix, which begs the question, why the fuck didn't they put 1 or 2 up? What the fuck, guys? And while you're at it, why not put Amazing Spider-Man up there? Because that's really fucking good, too. Spider-Man. Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Can he swing from a web? Yes, he can. I mean, he's Spider. Look out. Here comes a Spider-Man. Dan, dan, da 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 Whoa, look at that level. Night Flight. I think that's a... I think we should do that level. I've never done that level. And on the next episode of Spyro, we're gonna do Night Flight. Maybe. Maybe. I think we are. No. Shut up!